I find the most common mistake or, or thing that a new base is trying to overcome is being able to keep, keep their uh, midline here. Mm -hmm. It's not falling this way. A lot of it's this way falling left and right here. Mm -hmm. If you fall this way, you have your hands. But when you fall this way, you have nothing as a base to really bring your flyer back except for your leg strength and your core strength. So um, one thing I do, the, I think one of the best throws is the leg throws, you know, when you're up here, you have, you have a partner, you have to throw your legs from side to side. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, real life it doesn't really allow you to have a partner at all times. So okay. the stuff that I teach is just be able to take self-responsibility and do your homework at home. So when you go to a gym, when you meet up with a friend, you've done your homework. And when you're fitter and two, you're bringing to the partnership the best you. Yeah, you know, and yeah. that's what you want to do when you bring go to the partnership. You want to you want to have done your work when you come in. Um, so one thing I do uh, is something my dad taught me as a kid, and when he did it, I was just like, "What are you doing, Dad?" But now when I'm old, I'm like, "That makes total sense." Yeah. So a lot of the, this muscle here, I believe, is called the um, abductor, ad adductor. Here, right? Yeah. Um, so this is what's going to keep you as a base to be able to bring your flyer back along with your core, right? So if you want to work your adducts, one thing I'd like to do is um, just to do little side squat knees, right? You're leaning over and then over. And then when you get further and further in, remember, push yourself to about half 50% when you warm it up. I want you to slowly work further and then later as you get more advanced, you'll be able to lean all the way out and all the way back. So for now, you can keep your hand on the ground if you need. So this will kind of warm your legs up and also engage those adducts, getting ready for acro. So I learn as much from from my students as I do when I'm, you know, I'm teaching because you guys are more connected to the experience of a beginner, beginner base. Mm -hmm. um, than I am because it's been so long so I've forgotten like oh but I just take it for like, granted you right? know yes. so when you guys just did that what was something that you felt well, did you feel like those adducts were being engaged and then two did you find something that was particularly difficult about that mm -hmm. I definitely felt my adductors being engaged and it seems like such a simple silly thing like you were saying when your dad was teaching you when you were young but it makes total sense that to have that strength because I know as being a yeah. flyer especially when we start doing the ones where our legs start opening yes trying to, ha Completely. Trying to pull that back in so key right yeah like foot to foot that is such a dangerous thing because your legs can just go Whoop. and go yes. down right but yes. if you're engaging here and keeping mm -hmm. as a flyer and the base to be able to keep it in the middle and right. end you have a better chance of stacking those bones and keeping it straight yeah so I felt like it felt like this exercise awakens my senses to those muscles and, and what their purpose is, what they're actually doing. Yeah. Whereas before I take it for granted because I'm always just walking this way, so I never even think about those muscles and what they do. So yeah. well said. Thank you. Okay. Let's jump right into uh, acro now, okay? Okay. So